We love Jesus. But let's see what Jesus had to say. John 14. Let's see what Jesus Christ had to say about this. Because he know he followed the most high God. He never sinned, right? He never sinned. Read that. Watch this. Read. John chapter 14 and verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me. This is in red writing. This is Jesus Christ talking. This is the book of John. What did he say? Read again. If ye love me. So Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandment. What did Jesus say? Keep my commandment. What did Jesus say? Keep my commandment. Right at the top again. If ye love me. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandment. So if you love Jesus, what you got to do? Right. Is that simple? Is that simple? This little, this young lady learned it. She got it. So now you got to know what to do, right? So give me, give me something. Give me Francis. No, give me port. Let me give an officer. Give me port. Give me Leviticus. Let me show you a commandment. Watch this. Now you got to change. I got to change. This brother got to change. That brother. These brothers. All of us have to change. Because we've never known this information. Even when you start knowing it, you still have to apply. You have to get better. Watch this. Now this is, this is a commandment that you got to keep. Because y'all love God, right? Y'all love Jesus. So this is a commandment you got to keep. Read. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine. What's the swine? Y'all know what swine is? Pig. That's right. Swine is pig. Read. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. Pig is unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their flesh shall ye what? Not eat. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So can you eat bacon anymore? Can you eat pork sausage anymore? If you love God, you want to do it with you. Can you eat ham anymore? Can you eat pepperoni pizza anymore? No. If you love God and want to keep the commandments, you can't eat those things anymore, correct? Right. Keep reading. Watch this. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall ye not touch. Uh -huh. Read. They are unclean to you. Read. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Okay, now let's go into the waters. Read. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters and in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Right, so whatever got fins and scales that's in the water, you can eat. So let me ask you a question. Can you eat catfish? You sure? Read, but I'm not... Can, I mean, is it lawful? If you, we, do you love God if you eat catfish? Let me be more specific. Hi. It says it says it's got to have fins and scales. Does catfish have fins and scales? No. So that means you can't eat catfish. What about shrimp? Does shrimp have um, fins and scales? Got to have both. Can you eat shrimp now? Since you, if you're gonna love God, can you eat shrimp? You sure? No. What about crawfish? You can't. What about shark? You, it, it, if it don't have fins and scales, you cannot eat it. Period. If you love God, you apply this. If you don't love God, you won't do it. It's simple as that. Because God said, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. You understand? Go to 1 Timothy. Let me show you another one. 1 Timothy 2 and 9. First Timothy. Do I sound like I'm lying to you? Make it sense, ain't it? This love, sis. We love our sisters. We want you to get better. We want all you to get better. All right, read that, bro. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. And like men are also, that women, that what? That women, talking about the woman right here. That women do what? Adorn themselves in modest apparel. Adorn themselves in modest apparel. Adorn means to dress up, don't it? Adorn. In modest apparel, it means a clothing. Clothing. So what would God call modest? What do you think is modest clothing for a woman? Something simple? Okay, what you think, Miss 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 Sister? What you think? You don't know what God okay, what you think, young lady? A dress. A dress. You're absolutely right. A dress, a modest dress, and a modest skirt. But let's read it out of the Bible. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I think my brother went over this earlier. But we're gonna read it just to read, just put it in you. We're gonna keep putting it in you. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. So let's see what's this modest apparel God's want, God wants you women to wear. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Say what? 
the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination. For all that do so are what? Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So abomination means hate. So God see me, a man, wearing women's garments or women clothing. He hates me for doing that. Opposite side, if he see a woman wearing men's clothing, he hates it. You understand? So if you got pants on or shorts on right now, God hates it. He hates it. You got me saying? He hates it. Now you listen, listen closely. God hates it. If God hates it and you love God, should you change? Shouldn't you change what you do? That's if right. God hates it, yes. right. So the next time, Lord's will, I see you all. You put on a skirt and a dress, a modest skirt and a dress. Right. Now I'm not sis. This is the Lord. This you gotta have your own dealings with him. I just have to tell you the truth about it. I have to tell you the truth. Read what you got, y'all. So Rock chapter fifteen and verse thirteen. Uh huh. The Lord hated. All abomination. Wow. Say it again. The Lord hated all abomination. He hated all. He hated all abomination. And they that fear God love it not. And they that fear God love it not. So what we'll go to Psalm 5 and 5. So what we'll say is, we hear this all the time. God hate the sin, but love the sinner. Have you ever heard that before? Sis, one more, couple more minutes. Couple more minutes. Couple more minutes. All right, I got you. I'm going to let you go. Go to Psalm 5 and 5. Psalms chapter 5 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh -huh. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. God hate what? All workers of iniquity. So, uh, iniquity means sin. So if you're doing sin, God hates you and the sin. He hates all of that. You understand? We got to get better, y'all. Go to Numbers 15. Go to Numbers 15. Now you two got your head covered when the Bible's coming out. That's good. That's what you're supposed to do when you listen to the Bible as a young lady. You're supposed to have your head covered. But you're off with your attire. You're off. Because if you love God and you're going to keep his commandments, he said wear skirts and dresses, modest skirt and dresses. That's how you love God, okay? All right, read. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. See, say that again. And bid. Now listen up one second. Hear me out. Read. And bid them. No, start at the top, please. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. So who are you speaking to? Is that you? Is that you, miss? Yeah. Is that you, young lady? All right, read. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. Y'all know what a fringe is? Y'all know what fringes are? Right. You see, you see the brothers? Everybody got these little fringes on? So when you wear your skirt or your dress or your slip or whatever, however you wear part of your dress, you need to have these on them. Or, or your shirt with your skirt, you need to have some fringes on your clothes. Why? Let's see why. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garment uh -huh. throughout their generation. And that they put Hold on, it says what? Throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. You, those are children. You got okay. You got you have kids. Okay, if you have kids one day, that means you're gonna continue to generate. That's how we got here because we were generated from someone else, right? It says throughout your generation. So do we ever stop? So this law has never stopped. We have to continue this as Israelites. Read. And that they put up on the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. Now you see this ribbon of blue. It's got fringes and it got a ribbon of blue around it. So you got to do that too because the Bible said it. But why? Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe uh -huh. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments. May do what? May look upon it and remember all the commandments. One more time. And may remember all the commandments. That's why we went. Remember all the commandments. Read. Of the Lord uh -huh. and do them. And do what? And do them. And do what? And do them. And do them. Not know them. Do them. So now you know you're Israelite, right, sis? What must you do? Follow and keep and do the commandment. What's about you, sis? What you think? What you supposed to do as an Israelite? 
All praise to the Most High. Was that hard? Do we sound like a hate group? Do I sound like I hate you? Right. Do it sound like I love you? Do it sound like I'm trying to keep you out of trouble? I'm trying to keep you out of God's wrath. Because if you go to Zephaniah 1 and 8, if you don't change your attire, now I got to flip it on. If you don't change your attire, if you don't keep the commandments, watch this. Zephaniah 1 and 8. Watch this. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Watch this. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes. He, he going to do what? I will punish the princes. He going to punish the princes? And the king's children. And the king's children. Read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Did y'all hear that? I don't think they heard. Read it. I want y'all. I want y'all to vivid, literally look at me while I'm saying this. Please, you three right here. Please, you grown older ones. Read it again, y'all. Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is when Christ returns. When Jesus Christ returns, this is what He say. Read. Go do. That I will punish the princes. So punish. Jesus Christ is going to punish. Punish who? The princes. Uh -huh. And the king's children. So y'all are the king's children. We are the princes. Y'all are part of the king's children, right? Because y'all are the children of Israel. Read. And all such, and all such, that's what? As are clothed. Clothed. So whatever type of clothes you got on, read. With strange apparel. So remember, you wearing pants is strange to God. He's going to punish you for it. If I'm wearing a blouse and a, some high heels, he's going to punish the princes for it. He's going to punish us for it. So this is not a game. I'm reading, thus said the Lord. Now I'm going to go to the last page of the Bible. The very last page of the Bible. The very last page. The very last book. 22 and 14. Watch this. Revelations chapter 22 and verse 14. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask all y'all right quick. Are you blessed? Yes. Are you blessed? What about you, young lady? What about you? Okay, so let's see if what God say if you're blessed. Let's see. Last page, last book. Read. Revelations chapter 22 verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they. Blessed are they that do, that do his commandments. That do what? His command. Blessed are they that do what? His commandment. I'm going to ask you again. Are you blessed? You do the commandments. Some of it. Okay. You think you're going to get in doing some? No. You got to do it. Sis, it's okay. You, you got time. Maybe. Hopefully. You got to change, sis. That's what I was saying earlier. You have to change, sister. You can't wear shorts, tights. You wear them under your dress. Under your skirt, but you can't wear them while a man can see your curves. You got to throw that away. That's right. Only one to see your curves is your husband. You definitely need the youngest young lady because all, all a, the young man want to do is run through you and treat you like a whore. We don't want you to be no whore. We want, you are, you are a daughter of Sarah. You understand, sis? You got to change your ways. You got to change your ways. Sis, you got to change your ways. Are you blessed? Right, oh, that's humble, good. So what you got to do to be blessed? Right, keep the commandments. That's absolutely correct. Keep reading. <laughs> blessed are they that do his commandments, that uh -huh. they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now watch this. For without are dogs. So if you don't keep the commandments, what did God call you? Dogs. What did God call you if you don't keep the commandments? For without or for without the commandments are dogs. Are dogs. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you.
Nation is you.